This is an intro. Who needs an intro? I don't need an intro. This is just a vape show. It's just a vape show. Vape show. Vape show. This is an intro. Who needs an intro? I don't need an intro. This is just a vape show. It's just a vape show. Vape show. Vape show. YouTube, welcome back. Part three of the Rage Tank Trilogy is up next, and we're gonna take a look at the RTA next. How many RTAs do you know that can handle Fuse Clapton's and not give you a dry hit? I don't know too many. I don't know too many at all, I gotta say. But this one, come on in here, let's take a look. That's right guys, same build. We're just gonna re-wick this for the RTA. And we're gonna vape it just like this. Dual fuse Claptons and this RTA. That's how efficiently this guy can wick. That's how, how well the airflow works, that it can handle this. We're gonna be using some more of the uh, Kendo Vape Cotton. Less is more when you're dealing with wicking an RTA. Less is more. And I've never really liked them, to be honest. I don't care for RTAs at all. Um, I feel like I'm always struggling with gurgling versus leaking versus dry hits. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a constant battle for me when I'm dealing with RTAs. But with this one, it just works really, really well, to be honest. It's the best RTA I've ever used. Um, I haven't had any problems with it at all. Now with this, what I'll do is I will snip it right about there. It really doesn't need a whole lot. Less is more. I'm basically snipping it right at the edge of the uh, negative post. Okay? Put my scissor right up against the negative post and snipping. That's it, right there. That's all the cotton that you need. And what I'll do is I'll juice it using some more of the Strawzilla from Triumphant Premium E-Juice here that they sent along. I'll go ahead and I'll get these nice and healthy with juice, good and saturated, okay? I really like to use a screwdriver to kind of bring the wick on down, just like that. You kind of want to be patient with it. You don't want to rush this, okay? You want to basically just bring this wick all the way on down. And just kind of sculpt it in there. All right, that should do it. That should do the trick, I'd say. And take your chimney, this is your chimney section. And just screw it on down. Yes. Indeed. Tank section. Pop it on down in there. And we'll juice it on up. I love the way that this top fill works. There's nothing in the way. There's no like metal holes you need to shove your you know dripper tops through or anything like that. It's just a simple, simple design. There's nothing there. There's nothing there. Just juice away. And then screw that on down. Anyway, I'll see you guys up there. Yeah, this is some pretty serious clouds on a sub tank, on an RTA rather. This is some pretty serious clouds on RTA. That's that's pretty nice, and it vapes fantastic. The flavor is phenomenal. I like this RTA better than the sub tanks. And you know, to be honest, usually with a sub tank, the RTA, you know, makes me wish long for you know the the heads that it came with. You know, the RTA usually leaves a bit to be desired when you're vaping on it, but this one. This particular RTA, the way the airflow is set up, just tons of airflow coming from the bottom there, it can handle dual fuse Claptons. That's insane for an RTA to handle dual fused Claptons. That's nuts.
It's wonderful. It's a great game. With this particular drip tip, with the adjustable airflow on the drip tip, you know, it can get kind of hot with those dual fuse Claptons in there, even when the RTA form. So it's kind of nice to be able to open up the airflow on this drip tip, maybe, I don't know, maybe about halfway or so, and pop it back in there. It takes away a little bit of flavor, I'll say, but it cools down the vape a bit. But I gotta say, this metal drip tip's a bit too hot. Yeah, it's it's half a win, but you know, it's metal. If it were Delrin, I'd be all about it because it cools down the vape a bit. It's too bad. I haven't had any leaking. I haven't had any gurgling. I haven't had any issue vaping this. I can chain vape this. It wicks phenomenally well. The airflow is perfect for it. I'd keep going, but it's three milligram nick. I'm starting to get a little lightheaded from that. Um, that was, I don't know how many poles that was. Yeah, I'm a little lightheaded. My eyes are crossing. <laughs> it's a great vape. It really is. It's cloudy. This is uh, the most fun I've had with an RTA, honestly. I think that's my favorite part of it. The sub tank is pretty good. It's okay. You know, for a sub tank, it's straight. It's decent. Um, the RDA is pretty good. It's got tons of build space. I wish that the post holes were larger. That's really my main gripe about it. The drip tips it comes with, you know, this one for the RDA, this one for the RTA and the sub tank, I really don't care for them. They're metal and they get warm. They get very warm, hot. And I'm really sensitive to that personally. It's not my thing. But the RTA, the RTA was honestly my favorite part about this thing. Considering the RTA decks that you get with some of these sub tanks lately, they just leave so much to be desired because they're usually so small. You really can't, they're not versatile, you can't do a lot with them. And usually with an RTA, if you try to do a lot with them, you do a crazier build, fuse claptons, staggered fuse claptons, I don't know, whatever the hell else you want to put in there. Anything other than just straight canthal, you usually are going to pay for it with some burnt hits. But this one, you can go buck wild with it. You can, you can, basically anything that the RDA can handle, I venture, the RTA can probably handle. There's just so much airflow. There's so much airflow and it wicks beautifully. It juices beautifully. Um, I don't know how so much juice is getting to this wick. You saw, I mean, I put a ton of wick in there. I mean, I, I, I kind of cut down the wick in comparison to what I put in the RDA, but there's still a lot more wick in there than I would normally put in an RTA. You know, I'm usually a lot more conservative the way I wick an RTA, but this one can handle it, man. This one you can put a ton of wick in and juice is going to make its way to that coil. It's a fantastic RTA. That's my favorite part about it, honestly. And that's what surprises me, because I really don't like RTAs, <laughs> to be honest with you. I've had the Orchid. I've had the K-Fun, of course. I've had the Aqua. You know, I, you know I, I, every time I get an RTA, I'm disappointed with it. The Typhoon. Oh, my God, I hated the Typhoon. Like the small one, the GS, or I don't remember what it was called, the Tiny Typhoon. I mean... That was huge disappointment. I've never liked an RTA. I've tried and I've tried and I've tried to like RTAs, but I don't. This is the first one I can honestly say that I really like. This is a great RTA. That's my favorite part about this thing, the RTA. I mean, I'm vaping this RTA at 75 watts. 75 watts I'm vaping this build. Dual fuse Claptons. Ton of wick. And it wicks beautifully. I mean, this is the best RTA I've ever used. I love this RTA. Mm. 
Mmm. It's great flavor. Excellent flavor. I can't get over how much I like this RTA. I really can. I really can. It's wonderful. It's worth it just for the RTA. I'd pay 45 bucks, 60 bucks. It's on sale right now for 45 over at Simply for Vapor. But I, I pay 45, I pay 45, 60 bucks just for this RTA. That's my favorite part about it. It's fantastic. I've never liked one. Go figure. So they sent me two of these things, right? Well, obviously we're going to give one away, but we're not giving it away here on my channel. No, we're giving it away over live on the air, over on Southern Gentleman Vapor Views and Heavy Metal Vapors show. Never heard of them. That's right. I'm making my first live appearance tonight. Should be fun. And I'll be over there at 9 p.m. EST. So see you there. I'm your homeboy. Own boy Josh, and I'll see you guys live tonight at 9. Vape on, vapors.